In today's design appeal, they may just have been pieces of fabric, but sometimes t-shirts can have special meaning. We've been making a t-shirt quilt on Mass Appeal. Well, not really us. I can't no, take any we credit haven't done for a it. Thing. With local quilter <laughs> Marsha Malloy. And it's just about done. Marsha, yeah, we all, we gave you the t-shirts and all the clothes. Right, yeah. right, Thank right. you for making this. Oh, it's it was a pleasure. It was amazing. fun. Amazing. It was a lot of fun. And so for people who haven't been with us throughout this whole entire process, basically what we did is we started, we get t-shirts all the time on Mass Appeal uh, for different things that we do in the community and, and different events. And we thought, what better way to put them to use than a big t-shirt quilt? Right, and t-shirt quilts are hot, so it's great. And they're easy. To, would you say on a scale of 1 to 10, how easy is this quilt? To make? Actually, it's pretty easy because of the fact that I didn't have to piece together and cut up fabric to make a block. So the shirts are already, the design is already there. All you have to do is cut them out at the right size and put them in sashing and go. And you've been on the show a few times, so we have some footage, actually, from oh, cool. the last right. time you were on the show. And so basically... What we have here is, is what you used to do. And, and you cut the, we cut the T-shirts into squares. Yes. And then from there, how do we get them on the shirt? We're showing it right now, actually. We, so we pin okay, them on. Okay, so this, that is, this is called sashing, and I was showing a technique to make sure that one shirt row lines up with the next row mm -hmm. so that they're not crooked. So we did a pinning technique to know where to place this row in comparison to that row. It seems like it's part uh, quilting, part math. There's a lot that goes I think, into it. Yeah, I love the math part, so yes, it And is. I think it's, such, it's a great way, obviously, we've collected shirts from guests that we've had over right. the, the past two and a half years, but if someone goes on vacation and they get a t-shirt and then of course they outgrow it or whatever it may be they don't want to throw it away because it brings no. back memories but right. you can actually piece it together right. I mean it may not be there may not be enough time to make it for Christmas this year no. but it's a, it would make a great gift too it does a lot of my students do this for Christmas gifts for their or and college graduation gifts high school graduation gifts so for their kids because they have so many and I think it's important to know too it doesn't just have to be t-shirts we have an apron on here and if you won't mind, Marcia, showing us. Yes, I love this so creative, one. creative, I know. You took a hat, the Children's Miracle Network, they gave us a hat, and we turned that hat into uh, part of our quilt. Look at this, right. just through the years. It's, it's now, great for us to look back on, I think. I know, it? so many memories. It's really, really amazing. You did such a great job, Marcia. Thank and you. And you said that it's very warm as well. So yes, it is. I did, I did my traditional sleep under it first. Before I give a quilt away, I always sleep under it. So it kept me cozy on Monday. I slept great, so. That's not a bad idea. Now, maintenance going forward it seems like it's a little bit fragile so how do you keep a t-shirt quilt it's actually pretty sturdy good i've tied and, and caught all the layers but you want to wash it on gentle cycle there's mm -hmm. a website uh, crew neck quilts they have information there i gave you a sheet mm -hmm. and um, you just want to be careful put it in the dryer put it on the clothesline either way it'll come out great now, Marcia, if someone wants to learn how to quilt, yes, is there a, a local classes where they can yes, go to? Yes, uh, I work at the I teach at the Holyoke Creative Arts Center, mm -hmm. and we have classes there in quilting. I have six classes a week and specialty classes on Saturday, so we have a lot of fun. So, so they can they can absolutely take your classes a, and learn how to do this. Yes, th th this t took you about how long? Um, if I worked steady, probably would have taken me a couple of weeks, but I worked hit or miss when I could. So I started it in May and finished it last week. Now, earlier I was about to say that I couldn't dream of doing something like this. I can't. So it's a learned skill, though, isn't it? Um, I say yes and no. There are a lot of men who quilt, and um, so I think it's easy. Just plug the machine in and put something under and push the button and go. Well, right. then, I think I might just have to because I have, I, I'm guilty. I have so many T-shirts at yep. home throughout the years. So it, it's I'm gonna put be, it together. And I'm some of the things on use. here, I know the, the, the Super Bowl of Caring, we had um, the Red Sox Mentoring Challenge, Western Mass Warriors. Just it's, it's really cool to look back. It's a wonderful memory home. piece because you have so many things that you relate to and you look at one, especially if you take it home and sleep under it, you can look at it and go, oh, yeah, I remember when so and so was on. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And it's just great. It's and great. the Massfield Colors, Marsha. Exactly. Yes, I, I stopped. That took that. me the longest. I think that was almost the hardest trying to find Massfield Colors. It's so perfect. I yeah. think I'm so going to take fantastic. a nap later today. I think you should. I, I think might. you should. Marcia, yes. thank you so, so much. It was a the pleasure. Of thank you. It, it means more than you know. So it's thank a pleasure you. to have you here, and it's so easy to make a t-shirt quilt. So yes, it is. Everybody it really at is. home can do it. Yeah.